One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. 419, the devil is the original scammer. Then was Jesus led of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. And he saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord God, thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to verse 11, King James Version. I am of Nigerian heritage, and thus I am not here to knock my people. However, the numbers 419 represent the Nigerian law against fraud. Scamming is very rampant coming out of India, the Philippines, Russia, the United States, and all over the globe. So fraud is not isolated to Nigeria alone. However, scamming actually started with Satan. As you can see, Satan wants to be God and wants man's worship. Worship is actually service of man unto him as king. We must vow to never be such. We must vow loyalty to God and turn our backs on sin as it is the least we can do for the sacrifice of Jesus on our behalf. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and verse number 2. So think of sin as disloyalty to God and allegiance to Satan. Satan's temptations are a scam. They take more than they give. They separate us from God and cause us to lose our salvation if we do not repent. Confess our fault to God and ask for forgiveness. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12, Acts chapter 8 verse 22, 1 John 1 7 verse 10. So let's pledge allegiance to the Lord and never defect to Satan's kingdom. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.